Our first guest tonight is one of the funniest of the funny guys. You can listen to him with his buddy Dana Carvey talking SNL every Wednesday on their Fly on the Wall podcast. And he's also co-hosting the Environmental Media Association Awards on Saturday here in L.A. Please welcome David Spade. <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, man. Are you getting younger? Hey. What's happening to you? You look all right, right? <laughs> you look like you should have a backpack on and be headed to school. Someone thought I was Chris Evans in my dream. Chris Evans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you look Jimmy, good. I like the beard. It's... I appreciate it, man. I'm just uh, rolling in from uh, El Pollo Loco. <laughs> uh, listen, I heard you were in Brooklyn. I was in Brooklyn, yeah. Oh, believe me, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Precious Brooklyn. I know you were so bummed to come back. He's on the plane like this, staring out the window. <laughs> Miss, Mr. Kimmel, peanuts? Huh? Oh, uh, no. Sorry, I'm just bummed about something. Uh, who was on the show this week? Straight, uh, sometimes it's work. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, Mr. Kimmel? Oh, you're still here? Um, <laughs> That's not entirely false. That's not, uh... I know. I heard you had a big floofy dinner with all your tra-la-la friends. <laughs> I read it all. You did, yeah. Yeah, Guillermo thinks he's still in Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. You went over and said hello to Guillermo on the way in. That was nice. Yeah, I owed him uh, a couple bucks. What? What do you, <laughs> you owed him? Yeah. Last time you were here, Dana Carvey was filling in Oh, uh, Dana host. did great, man. It was fun, man. He, uh, yeah, he was great, and he is your co-host on yeah. this podcast, which is... Very entertaining to listen to Thank and you. a great idea. You know, you said that before, and it was very nice because you were an early proponent of it before it started, and uh, it's been going good. We've done a lot of them. We got casts, we got, uh, you know, we have some, uh, you know, hosts. We just got into musical guests. We have our first one next Wednesday, which is Paul McCartney. I've, I've, I've heard of him. Now, Paul McCartney was in The Beatles, and then he was in Wings, and I don't want to give the whole thing away, but. <laughs> It's stuff like that. We dig. You dig, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is more excited about Paul, you or Dana? It well, had to be Dana, I right? I mean, Dana is a psycho about the Beatles, but I have to be, to be honest, I, I know a lot about the Beatles and I love him, and he's, he's so legendary and such a cool dude, but I was very starstruck, and I, you know, I've been doing this a while, and uh, I don't get starstruck all the time. Like, this is nothing, you know? Right, right, right. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, no, it's like, you're at Kmart. Like, I don't know. I'm like, hey, you're just some guy. Like, hey, do you work here? You know? But, um, <laughs> but with him, <laughs> it's not like you're Dua Lipa or something, you know? <laughs> By the way, I'm joking. And I, believe me, you, I only know who Dua Lipa is because I have posters of her on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> I should look into who she is. I have eight posters. So, uh, anyway, Paul, um, I'd seen him out and about sometimes. At, do you? You see him around? Uh, I don't play a local. He was, I was just... Hey, is that right? No. He's a vegetarian. That he makes was picketing, no yeah. No, yeah. I just, I, I, I see him at things, and then uh, he's always friendly. I don't even know if he for sure knows me, and I want to go, ooh, I'm, you know, Dana's Yoko. I don't know what to say to him, you know? <laughs> because when he came on, we all are talking, and he's so pleasant, and, he, and he's very light. You know, he's a fun guy, but I don't know how far... I can do my crummy jokes to him. And that's that's a hard part, because Dane and I are both so nervous you're we talking about before. He's super cool. We we got into a lot of stuff about the Beatles, about John Lennon, about that Let It Be thing that came out. So overall, that that Let It Be uh documentary. Right, yeah, which know, is fantastic. Which is, yeah. Yeah. Riveting. So um, it was great to hear him just talk about that stuff. And I'm like, oh, would you spell the Beatles right if you had spell check back then? I mean, my questions <laughs> aren't good. <laughs> I think he just, after a while, he tuned me out. Like, yeah. It was all right, yeah. yeah. As long as you had some time with him. Yeah. How many times was he on Saturday Night Live? Paul, he was there once when I was there, and uh, everyone always wants him to sing, like, in the break. He came out at the end and sang Let It Be. After it was over, he sang it again. And uh, it's really fun. Like, you know, Lauren, who, Lauren is our boss. Lauren Michaels is also on your And podcast. Lauren's on this week. Paul's I listened mixing. to this one. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Fun, it was right? very interesting, yeah. I thought. Yeah. Lauren is great. It's very nerve-wracking, again, because he's like, it was just like Dane and I were back at Reed 3. He came to my house to do it, and... Uh, wow. And it's just weird, definitely. 
Do you feel like, because I, I, I ask you this because yeah. I feel like this, there are certain people who are your boss along the way and you never get over that feeling. Yeah, he came in, it was like being at read through again. He walks in, he goes, oh, he goes, oh, you didn't get this house with SNL money. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they didn't pay any money. Do you, do you feel like you could ask him questions because you were uh, on a podcast that you wouldn't have asked him if you were at dinner um, or something? We have gone to dinner, and he, he, he's a very fun guy, and he has a very dry sense of humor. But I wanted to be, again, respectful because with guys like him, and he's launched Eddie Murphy, everyone from the beginning, you know? So I asked him a few things that I want to know. But when it's so broad like that, you're just jumping around because just things like, did Bill Murray punch Chevy Chase? Oh. Did Chevy Chase punch Bill Murray? That, that was it. It was uh, yeah. the third season, Bill Murray replaced Chevy, and there was a fight. And uh, I got him to, you know, squeal about that a little bit. Have you asked Chevy about that? Have you had Chevy? Chevy on? came on. No, Chevy came on. Uh, he was a little, uh, he is fun, because he's, he's crazy in a good way, and he has that old school... Uh, sense of humor where it's hard to get a full answer out of him. <laughs> and I see. Dane and I, I think we gave up in the middle. But, uh, <laughs> but it was funny. He'd go like this, you guys are great. And then he goes, you don't have to talk anymore. And I go, oh, okay. <laughs> and then, because uh, he came to the house too. But he was good because he was old school funny and it was just like three guys in a room with no one listening. Unfortunately, people will be listening. Yeah, yeah. Well. And so I said, I don't know if I'd say that. But he does say a lot of fun stuff, and uh, he was one of my favorites, especially first year of SNL. Sure, blew no up. question yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, you um, you told a great story when Lauren was on yeah. about Chris Farley had been dating a girl, and then they broke up. Oh you right, remember right, that yeah. that one? Farley, uh, when we were all there, he was dating one of the girls that worked there, and she's very sweet. And then they broke up, and he comes back, and she has a new boyfriend, and we know it. And he comes back from break from Wisconsin. He's like, so I hear. Uh, Aaron's got a new fella. Uh, Courtner, huh? Well, let me tell you something. He may be uh, better looking, but he's not richer, he's not funnier, and he's not more famous. And we're like, ooh, it's Steve Martin. <laughs> <laughs> all three, strike three. Oh, for three. We were all just like this. Yeah. He's like, what? And I'm like, oh, boy. Uh, yeah. David Spade yeah. is with us. His podcast is called Fly on the Wall. David, do you feel like you're more popular now than you have ever been in your career? <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I think it's... Uh, I wasn't joking. I, I don't know. I, I feel like yeah. people have really gained an appreciation for uh, you. That's nice. Life. I think it, it just sinks in over time. Different movies are on, TBS, 24 hours a day, and, and then <laughs> the podcast, and, like, you know, stand-up specials. So, yeah, I would say at this point, like, I'm doing a stand-up tour now, it's the first time I've done like a theater tour. Yeah, we it's have really a, a photograph uh, from uh, one of your shows. This is in uh, Orlando, I believe. Oh, right, yeah. That's a little... That was great. A lot of people. A big room. Yeah, starting to get it? Yeah, I'm okay. starting to understand. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's the it's first time I've done theaters, and then, because uh, I have a chunk of time to go and just commit to say, let's do like 40 cities. And so we go out there, and it's great. You know, we did four in, uh, we just did four in Florida. That was one of them. I think that was, that was uh, Fort Worth, or where is that? Uh, it was Orlando. Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, yeah. Orlando, oh, yeah. Oh, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, yeah. yeah one the Tri-City area? Yeah, I didn't think. <laughs> Fort Worth, I know it was Orlando. a big hurricane, but I don't think it moved Fort Oh, we, we got out of Florida. there right before that. Uh, but, like, we're going to San Antonio and uh, coming up and Denver and Oklahoma City, Heartland. So it's a place I don't get a lot. A lot of Joe Dirt country. Do you hang out afterwards? Do you go to the local restaurants, find the local stuff? I do go to play, you know, and Jimmy, this will shock you. Here's a pet peeve when they don't have a Diet Coke, and this is so stupid, but I, I like Diet Coke. I don't like the other one. I won't say the name. And they always go, is Pepsi okay? Oh, I said it. And they go, um, <laughs> and they go like this. Is it okay? Because they know it's gross too. They go, <laughs> and I go, uh, I mean, it's okay, but yeah, I, I Diet Coke, and they're like, like they go, oh, this, like this airline, we're Pepsi. I go, how is that possible? The whole thing? And they go, <laughs> or they don't tell you. They go, here's your Diet Coke, and then they go hide behind where the phone is, <laughs> uh, you know, by the cockpit, and then I go like this, because I can kind of smell it. Uh huh. And then I go, this is, this is real quiet acting. I go like this. And then they go like this. 
Because <laughs> they know they try to trick me. But I was at a casino and they go, it's a Pepsi casino. I go, the whole <laughs> casino? How do you do this? What if I want vodka? They go, we only have Smirnoff or something. I go, no, you got to give me a choice. And they, I go, I thought I was in America. And then uh, I say that a couple of times. And then, I, and then the lady goes, well, there's a 7-Eleven by the freeway. What? <laughs> Are you going? I'm not. Am I going to walk to the seven? There's a Circle K, a couple clicks. To, clicks? Am I in Vietnam? What, what are clicks? So anyway, I don't. I don't get it. It looks the same color. I just don't. I don't love it. And then I get mad. And then I. I was like, if it's sort of a like, they buy it out. I'm like, Diet Coke, go in there with a stripper money gun and go. Brrr, you know, just pay everyone. Like Little Wayne or something, and let's do this because I can't sit here and have Diet Pepsi and be like this. And they go, people drink it. I go, they have to. <laughs> There's nothing else. People drink it. They are do. You going, do, you, do you, are you going to go to other countries with the tour, or are you staying here in the I mean, United they States? They barely like it here. Well, David has, uh, really, if you want to hear Lorne Michaels talk about Saturday Night Live, yeah. which I would think you would, if you want to hear Paul funny. McCartney, listen to Fly on the Wall, David yeah. Spade, and Dana Carvey. Yeah. New episodes come out Wednesdays. Thank you, David.